Thank you. I think you all know by now that I am extremely passionate about health care. In fact, I consider myself a health care advocate. I read about as much as I can about emerging medical science, and I talk all the time with incredible doctors, scientists, and experts that I trust. My book this year, Bombshell, was all about exciting, amazing medical breakthrough discoveries that can help both extend and save lives. And one of the bombshells in my book is about a vitamin that can help prevent the number one killer of both men and women, which is heart disease. One small, inexpensive, over-the-counter vitamin is offering huge hope in the fight against heart disease. So here to tell us all about it is Dr. Scott Fogel from Life Extension Foundation. So good to have you here. You um, want to talk today about heart disease and how we can prevent it. So what's the number one thing we should know? Well, there's a lot of things that go in for heart disease, but mm -hmm. vitamin K, it's something that people always associated with blood clotting. They yes. thought, okay, vitamin K is for blood clots. We're talking vitamin K or K2? K, well, here's the difference. Uh -huh. Vitamin K1 gets captured by the liver and it's saved for your blood clotting because that's pretty important. When you get cut, those clotting factors all come together and they form that clot, which is great. Uh -huh. So everybody for years thought that's all the vitamin K did. But then in the last few years, they started to figure out, wait a second, there's other things that vitamin K does. And vitamin K2 is very different than K1 in the sense that vitamin K2, when you take it in your diet, it goes past the liver. K1 stays with the liver right. for your blood clotting blood factors. Clotting. K2 goes out to your circulation and now it's gonna work as an important calcium regulator. It's gonna help regulate where the calcium goes in your body. So. Does calcium line the, the arteries? As we get older, yeah. it definitely will. It causes that calcification. It's like literally turning to stone. What is this little doodah here? Oh, this is just a little thing to show here. You is this want an the artery? blood. Is yes, this is an artery? artery. You want your blood to be able to flow through here nice and easy. Uh -huh. Now, as we get older and get plaque and calcification, oh, wow. it looks like oh, this. Let me see. So okay. it's going to. It won't oh. flow through oh. there, and then you can have a plaque rupture, and then, like we said, if that goes to your heart, goes to your brain, not good. That's atherosclerosis, that's hardening of the arteries? Exactly. This is an artery. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. And uh, in the medical journal Circulation, they said that about 75 to 95 percent of people, once they get older, have calcification in your arteries. And Suzanne, that's not where you want it. You don't want it in your arteries. Right, right. So vitamin K2 softens the arteries, keeps what? them pliable? It does that, and it does that by working as a cofactor for a very important enzyme. Now, for the science buffs out there, mm -hmm. it's called matrix GLA protein. This protein, its job is to keep the calcium out of your arteries. So you don't want it building up in the soft tissues of your body. And that's what this does. And if it doesn't have vitamin K2, it can't work. Should everybody take vitamin K2? Pretty much everybody mm -hmm. except people who are on Coumadin. If you're on Coumadin, you have to talk with your doctor about it, though there are some interesting studies showing that low dose vitamin K2 actually helps to stabilize the blood test that people do when they're on Coumadin. So if you're on Coumadin, definitely talk to your doctor, look at some of the recent studies, but for most other people, it's hard to get in the diet, so it's a very, like you mentioned earlier, it's a very inexpensive supplement that goes a long ways towards preventing that calcification in our arteries. What kind of food could we eat to um, prevent calcium in our uh, arteries? Well, vitamin K1 mm -hmm. is found in the green leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. spinach, Brussels sprouts, collard greens, all the stuff we should be eating. Mm -hmm. Okay, but remember the K1 goes to the liver for blood clotting. Right. K2, that is found in like cheese, organ meats, egg yolks, not a lot of stuff people are always eating. Right. So that's why K2 can be a pretty important supplement for a lot of people. It's a, a little thing to do every day to uh, possibly circumvent a terrible event in your life. It's very little. There's little tiny capsules to take. How many very milligrams inexpensive. a day? 
Well, what the research is showing that most people probably want to do between 200 micrograms to one milligram a day of the vitamin K2. Mm -hmm. And people should look at the label to see it says K2. Mm -hmm. yes. um, not just vitamin K, but specifically vitamin K2. And if you've already had a heart attack, Oh, like Larry King was just on. He's already had a heart attack. He, should he be taking K2? We would suggest definitely for people to take the vitamin K2. To prevent a recurrence. Well, it's again, if you have that calcification, destabilizes the plaque, and if the plaque ruptures, mm -hmm. you can get the heart attack, you can get the stroke. So it makes a lot of sense. Well, everything that you do at Life Extension, what I try to do in my books is, is um, educate so that um, we can take the steps to avoid catastrophe down the road. Taking vitamin K2, I, I, ever since I um, heard this from Bill Falloon and then Dr. Gary Gordon in his interview also told me about it. It's just a simple thing to add to my regimen. You know, I'm criticized because I take enough vitamins to go across the table, but you know what? I feel good and I think I feel like I'm doing everything I can to live longer with quality of life. Y you said it's not expensive. Like how much would vitamin K2 be? You could get a month's supply for less than $9 a month. And the website? The website is lef.org. Okay, thanks a lot. To learn more about what you've heard today on The Suzanne Show, sign up now for the Ultimate Health Giveaway. Brought to you by Life Extension. You'll receive a free special report on proven methods to prevent heart attack that your doctor may not know about. Plus, you'll get a free one-year Life Extension membership with no obligation and access to groundbreaking information for longer life. You'll also be entered for a chance to win exciting prizes every week, including a luxury cruise. Sign up now for the Ultimate Health Giveaway at SuzanneTV.com or at the Suzanne Show Facebook page.